In this video, we're going to take a look at mold tools in SolidWorks Connected so we can generate a tooling split for the carving knife handle. Let's take a look. In SolidWorks Connected, the first thing that I want to do for the cordless handle is reserve the file. I'm about to make changes. Naturally, I need to have ownership of that item. Visually, I'll get the green key. This is the cue that lets the user know, hey, you can go ahead and start working on the file. I'm also only going to focus on half of the final part. One of the first things that we would do if we were injection molding this is scale the body some percent to account for shrinkage. In this case I'll scale it at 1.06 or an increase of 6%. Next I'll identify a parting line. In this very convenient command I can run draft analysis. This will allow the user to specify a pull direction and with respect to a numeric value color code the draft faces that we see on screen. And all I want to do here is take the parting line through a very specific region for the developed parting surface downstream. And as we can see, the blue edge indicates the parting line. Next, we'll develop a parting surface. This command allows the user to radiate the parting line out in a specified direction. That parting surface will be used to split the upper and the lower half of the mold. But in this case, we have some regions that have a tighter radius and really trying to split in this case would be very difficult with the automated routine. So I'm gonna go into manual mode, which will allow the user to specify very specifically what each edge is doing on that parting line and very quickly develop our split body for the upper and lower half. And very quickly it's there, which is great, it's very convenient. And now what I can do is generate the cross section of the mold tool for the upper and lower half. Of course I can go and fully define that as needed. In this case I'll leave it underdefined. And we can execute the tooling split operation. When it comes to mold tools and SOLIDWORKS Connected, at this point we've executed, we, we've created a upper and lower half. What I like to show though is the ability to move bodies and actually visualize what the final part looks like and also the upper and lower half. I'll hide the parting surface. And all that remains is saving this back up to the cloud so other users in our 3D Experience platform can take this and do additional tasks with this file. So we've seen quite a bit in the evolution of the carving knife handle. It started in X shape. Sarah generated a really cool design. I was able to take that in SolidWorks Connected and generate our parting lines, our parting surfaces, and actually execute on the tooling split.